Jesus and Mary, what the fuck are you guys going on now then? You're recording. Oh, okay. So here's that, uh, that piece of gas I'm working on still. Um, getting some nice flat sides here. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but as I'm grinding this, this, what was the bottom, may now be the top because it has these lines of gold, not real gold, yellow in it so i think as a pendant it's going to look better this way than this way but i don't know we'll see how it finishes it out this is going to be interesting it's got this shelf i think what i'm going to have to do is take this shelf down even with this plane and then bring this one down flat into it and just make a 90 degree or well 135 degree cut there because we can't leave that open and raw like that. This side is shaping up. It's got this big cut right here that's kind of half round. As we get this flat, we'll take a look and see what that wants. Takes a little minute. Nothing goes fast on these. But they're worth it. So to give you an idea of what uh, what some of these stones end up turning out like, um, so we've had this one for a while. This is agate. It is what we call the Trinity Stone because you can see there's three different pieces basically. Let me get my laser. There's a line here and a line there. It's three different pieces. How it stayed together the whole time I was shaping it and polishing it i'll never know but it did stayed in one piece um, now that we've got it all polished and we got some zam on it this is really really something you can see through the laser how it shines through the way light reacts in an agate is just startling so here's one coming up this is a a crystal and the really neat thing is that line right there is gold. It's got another one on this side, right here. And this is this is gold gold. And there's another one. So this one's gonna be a neat one to do because I don't wanna go too deep and actually expose the gold. Uh, if I do that, I don't think it's gonna turn out well. So that one is gonna require some time we have this really neat piece here that's going to be a, a pendant. It's going to be a pretty good size, but I've got to straighten it out. Probably here, along the top. This fast, this side here, I'm going to have to put another one here after I get this all straight. Get these nice and smooth and even. <coughs> Excuse me. This will be smooth, but because it has this different plane, I mean, we're going to lose part of it when I straighten all this out. But this other little plane here, I may just even that all the way across like this. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. You're making something that you like. Um, here's a smaller crystal that we're working with. Another interesting jasper. This one's got a bunch of lines here going this way. That's going to polish up nicely. Um, not sure what this is. The the guide that we've been going by when we pick stones to do is if they have a waxy feel to them. I've been told, don't know how true it is yet, but if they have a waxy feel to them, they're more of a agate, jasper, gemstone than something that's not. Um, this one, another one that's turned out real nice. This is in the, sh the done shaping state, and now it's being ground to a, a more polished level. This one needs a lot of work yet. <clears throat> it's just a really, really whole bunch of interesting stuff. This one has a, a natural state on the outside, but on the inside, it is absolutely beautiful. And not sure what we're gonna do with this yet kind of go slowly we're not in a big hurry 
this is another neat one. It came out of the rock tumbler with these flat sides. So I'm just going to improve them and see where it, where it ends up, where it goes. Um, here's another one that came out of the tumbler with a bunch of flat sides. As, as I said, I'm just going to improve those flat sides and see where it goes. Here's another one that's all waxy, but not sure what kind of stone it is. This is a fossil. All this outside stuff, and we have a secret spot. We're pretty sure there's more there. But Tim cut this on a wet saw to get it nice and flat. So all I'm doing is refining this. The problem is this thing is exceeding everything on the hardness scale. This is probably a nine. Quartz is a seven. So that one's tough. This is a piece of chalcedony that we found. Again, I know right where I found it. These bright red orange spots, that's lead. This one has, starting here, goes all the way through it to a big watch. This is how it came out of the rock tumbler. But the really, really cool part is here on the back side, there are these two rose petals in the stone. We're going to have to be careful how we shape and polish this uh, to bring those out, but they are just extraordinary. Now the thing about chalcedony is you can see the laser goes through it. And we use a laser because it's a brighter, more pinpoint focused light. Um, this, big, this big knob here, this log on the end, or on the side, I think we're going to cut this off because it's got a cut line right here. And we're going to shape this into a pendant all its own. Because of the transparency we're able to get out of it, once this is ground smooth, polished, this is going to make an extraordinary pendant. It's going to be this wide this high, you know, lose a little because of, of the, the actual work on it. But it's got that nice orange on the inside from the lead. This is going to be quite something. Uh, but it's going to take some work. We've got to very carefully separate this log from the rest of the body. And then we have to be careful because I want to accentuate these rose blossoms. Those are, to come out of nature like that, that's just really something. We've got a bunch of, bunch of stuff we're working on here. Um, I try to go nice and slow, work one for a little while, and then start working another one. Some of this is going to end up out in the garden because when it looks good, when you're out hunting stones out in the desert, uh, you might get it home and think, well, that's just nothing but hooey. Which, you know, it happens. Now this one's real waxy. It's black. It's not obsidian. Uh, but I've been told it's hematite. That's going to take some working. Here's another piece of jasper. Interesting colorations. Give it a little bit of work, see what happens to it. Another black stone. Not waxy, so that one might not make the cut. Um, this one. This is a, kind of a red jasper. This one gets cleaned up. It'll be, it'll be something nice. Agates, a little tougher to find. Um, they're out there, you can find them, but a little tougher to find, but they, they really come alive when you get them shaped and polished. So stick with us, as usual, more to follow. Um, we're having a blast exploring Arizona, uh, all kinds of stuff. We hope you are having a lot of fun watching the channel. Uh, this Saturday, February 19th, we're heading out to Charleston Ghost Town on the Camp Wachuca firing range. And uh, we can't take metal detectors because there's unexploded ordnance out there. Kind of tough, but uh, it is what it is. But we're gonna have fun exploring out there and see what we can see. Uh, we live in the Old West, man. There is all kinds of great stuff to go out and find and see. Uh, we hope you join us. Uh, smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy our content and want to see more. That's the rock tumbler going in the background. Uh, we hope to see you in, uh, on our subscription list. We've got a great big huge quartz 
ball about this big. And we're going to bust that open. The metal detector says there's nickel, gold, and silver in it. For our 100th subscriber, and announce yourself, we are going to bust that open and whatever looks fantastic in the middle, I'm going to shape either a pendant or something out of that material, that quartz, and give it to our 100th subscriber. We thank you very much for following us, continuing to support the channel. More to follow.